everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make four different cards using the Joyful Sunflower stamp set and mixed media backgrounds. So this is the set and it comes with thin cuts. And let's get started. So I have some watercolor paper and I have it tacked down on my media mat. And the first background that I'm gonna do is watercolors. So I'm just going to do a wash of two colors so that I can make a, a background. So I am wetting my watercolor paper down a little bit. And then I'm just going to take some blue. And I'm just going to do a soft wash of color. And it's going to be a background for the sunflowers. So then I'm going to take some green and put it at the bottom. So I have green grass and blue sky. Okay, so that one's done. And I'll just carefully remove it from my media mat and wipe everything down. And then I'll bring another piece of watercolor paper in. Now this time I'm using shimmer brushes. So I'm shaking them up and then I'm filling up that barrel with the color and then I'm just going to put a small puddle on my media mat and I'm going to water watercolor with these. First I need to spritz my watercolor paper with a fine mist of water and then I'm just going to paint with the shimmer. So the next color is evergreen. That first color was blueberry and bluebird and then the second color is evergreen so I'm making a little puddle of color. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a wash of color at the bottom. These are so shimmery and bright and pretty in real life. I think this one's my favorite. I love the bright colors. So I'll remove that from my media mat. Check out. I don't know if the camera's picking up the shimmer, but it's really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to get everything cleaned up again. I'm going to do four cards with with four different kinds of backgrounds. Okay, another piece of watercolor paper. And this time I'm taking some Nouveau Shimmer powders and it's on a dry card and I'm just tapping out some powder. I'm gonna do blue at the top and green at the bottom. And then I'm gonna take my water spritzer and just spritz it. And the color just kind of moves around and bursts. So I've got some concentrations of the powder and I'm just taking my uh, watercolor brush and kind of just breaking up those uh, concentrated uh, bits of powder and getting it to move around a little bit more. So I'll get that one cleaned up. And it's hard to see um, in the video, but in real life these powders are just shimmery and they're multicolored, not just blue not just a solid blue, not just a solid green. They're really cool. Okay, so now I have a piece of the new mix-in papers. This is the Glacier Plaid. And I'm gonna tack that down on my media mat and I'm gonna use ink and just blend it with a blending brush. So I like this plaid background, but I just wanted to kind of do the same thing, have a, a blue sky and green grass. So I'm taking Bluebird and blending that around on the background. And then I'll take fern and blend it at the bottom. So I'll get those two blended together. And that's my last background. Okay, so now let's do some stamping. I'm going to get my media mat out of the way and bring my Versa mat in. And we're going to do some stamping with the Joyful Sunflower stamp set. So I've loaded two of the sunflowers on my Misty and I've got some vanilla cardstock set up. So this first one I'm just using black ink because I'm going to color these with the tri-blend markers. So I have those two stamped. I'm going to do a variety of stamping and uh, things to, to make my sunflowers with. So the next one I'm bringing in some sponge daubers 
and another piece of vanilla cardstock. And I'm taking saffron ink with my sponge dauber and I'm just putting the ink on the flower. So I'm going to make a multicolor stamped image. So I'm inking up just the flower with the saffron ink. And then I'll stamp that image down. And then I'm going to take some sangria ink and the sponge dauber and then I'm just sponging the inside the center of each of the sunflowers with uh, sangria. I love how these stamp how these stamped images look. And then I'm going to take some fern and I'm going to color the uh, stem and leaves. I'm just laying down some ink. You do need to work quickly so that the ink doesn't have a chance to start to dry. But with the misty, you can always stamp it a second time if you need to. So there's my stamped image. Okay, so I did a couple of those, but I, I won't keep it in the video. We'll just, because you get the idea. <laughs> so then the next thing I'm going to do is I've got the light side of fern cardstock and I'm going to stamp the whole image and I'm just inking it up. It's tone on tone stamping. So it's uh, fern cardstock with fern ink and I'm just stamping the whole image down. And then I'll get my stamps cleaned up and then I'm going to bring in a piece of saffron and it's the light side of saffron and saffron ink and I'm going to ink up my images. And then I'll stamp those down. Okay. So this is a piece of b and paper from the new timber collection and I'm going to stamp that fence image on it. So I'm deciding the grain direction and I decided that that way it looked the best. And so I'm going to ink up my fence image in espresso and stamp that down. So when I cut this out, I'm going to cut one with the stamped image and then I'm going to try cutting another one without stamping it. Just do the, the thin cut of the fence shape. And then I stamped another one in um, espresso ink on vanilla and I stamped that banner as well. So I'm going to put a sentiment in this banner and joy is the word that fits. So I'm going to stamp that down. And then when I assemble my card, I'm going to stamp the word choose directly on my card. So I'm inking that up in espresso and I have the word joy on that little banner. Okay, so now I'm ready to thin cut everything. So off camera, I colored in my images with the tribal end markers and then I cut them out with my Big Shot with the thin cuts. So let's assemble some cards here, okay? So they're not in, in the same order as I made the backgrounds, but I'll tell you which ones I did. So this first one is with the shimmer brushes. It's the Bluebird and uh, Evergreen shimmer brush background. So I'm building my card and it is an A2 side fold card and that uh, espresso cardstock is cut at five and a quarter excuse me five and a half by four and a quarter and then I'm using the light side of saffron and that bonding memories broad tip glue pen I was right down to the end so if you tap it when you're when you think you have nothing left in there just tap it and you'll get just a little bit more out there to make your last card with. So this um, watercolor paper, it kind of curves when it, it dries if you don't keep it taped down. And so I'm attaching it with a really good adhesive. This is score tape. And that way when I put it on my card, it'll stop the bowing, the curve 
of the the cardstock it'll flatten out so I'm attaching that directly to the light side of saffron and everything has a small border around it so I'll get that down so it's nice and flat okay so let's start building the front of the card and I'm going to use the aqua Tombow glue because it, it takes a couple seconds to set up so I have time to fiddle with it and move things around and if anything seeps out the edges it, it dries matte so you don't have to worry about any shi shiny glue blobs squeezing out from under and because it takes a second to set up I'm able to pick it up and slide my sunflowers in between the slats on that fence and kind of put everything together so this fence um, image is the one that I stamped and then cut and then later on I'll have one that I just cut okay so I'm just kind of building things and deciding where to put my sentiment I needed a little extra cushion under it to make sure that it, it's stamped clearly so this one says sending sunshine your way okay and then I'm going to take some fern and there's little um, grass stamps in this collection and so I'm just stamping some grass around my sunflower and then the last thing I've got some gold glitter <laughs> glitter gems and I'm going to scatter some of those around just for a little extra bling on my card okay so that's the first card I hope you can see the shimmer in this it's so pretty I think this one's my favorite I love bright colors and sunflowers that's the first card okay let's make another one this one is with the uh, close to my heart watercolors with that first uh, watercolor wash background that I made so I'm going to use the joy banner that I made and the fence I stamped in espresso and um, on vanilla and uh, colored it in with the tri-blend and then my flowers are the ones that I did the multiple colored stamped images so this cardstock is gold rush and I'm using the light side of gold rush I'm just leaving a little border of espresso and then I have I'm not sure I'll have to check if this is still available this is burlap white burlap ribbon and I decided to add a strip of it on the side of my card there so I'm attaching it with glue dots and then I'm going to pop that panel that watercolor panel with um, thin foam tape and that's super sticky too so it'll make the uh, the watercolor paper that it's kind of bowed a little bit when it dried it'll make it flatten out when I attach it to the front of the card okay so the design of all my cards it's going to be the same I'm just using different uh, mixed media backgrounds and well actually the next two cards I kind of changed up just a little bit but the basic design is the same so I'm going to slide that joy banner under the burlap ribbon and first I need to stamp choose directly to my card front okay we'll start assembling and I'm gluing this down with the aqua tombow as well get all my flowers in there And then after I get everything attached, I'll stamp some grass at the bottom as well, like the other card. Okay, 
Okay, so this one, I had to fiddle with it just a little bit. I felt like that ribbon was a little too far over, so I needed to scooch it. And it's possible, it takes a lot of patience, but you can scooch it over. And then I was able to slide my little banner in and get everything to fit. And the last thing is to tie a little knot and attach that with a glue dot. Okay. And get those little tufts of grass stamped down. And then I'll have some still pictures of this card as well, some close ups. All right, that card's all done. Okay, next card. This one is the one with the shimmer powder. I love how the powder moved. It made it look kind of like a hill. It dried up really cool. All right, so I'm using the uh, fence that is just the thin cut, but it's cut out of that uh, timber wood grain paper. And then I'm using the um, multiple color sunflowers. And this is the light side of saffron. I'm gonna get that layered up. And then I'm gonna put my shimmer powder panel down with score tape. Sometimes you have to burnish it with your fingernail to get that release paper to release. A little fussy, but show it's who's boss and it'll work. <laughs> All right, so we'll get that down. And then because of the direction of that hill, I decided to switch up the direction of my sunflowers. So instead of the memento ink, I decided to get intense black because this stuff, it'll stamp on pretty much any porous background and it's uh, intense. It's a darker ink. I don't like to use it so much because it, it um, stains your stamps really bad. And that's just a, a personal thing. The ink is awesome and it's very popular. So if, if you don't mind your stamps staining a bit, then go for it. So anyway, it um, showed up a little bit darker and more intense on my background there with my sentiment. So I'm going to glue this down with the Aqua Tombow glue. And then we'll get our sunflowers tucked in there and layered in. Now this one, um, the camera shut off on me early and I was so into it I didn't realize it. So. You don't get to see me stamp the little tufts of grass and add some uh, glitter gems, but those were the finishing touches. So here's my card. I love that shimmer background. Okay, so last card. Now this is the one that I um, blended with ink on the um, mix-in plaid background. So these are my flowers that I stamp tone on tone. So let's start first. Let's build our card. So I've got espresso. And then I'm going to layer in um, the light side of fern. And first I thought it was going to pop it. So that's why I'm not layering these in order. Um, so I'm taking my plaid paper and gluing it directly to the light side of fern. And then I started thinking about it and I decided to go ahead and, and glue it directly to the card front instead of popping it. Okay, so with these flowers, what I'm gonna do is fussy cut just the flower out of that cut image 
and then I'm going to glue it to the green one. So it's kind of a paper piecing method. And I apologize, my fussy cutting is off camera, so I kind of edited it out. But you get the idea. You trim them out and then um, glue them directly to the green um, image and just layer them on top. Just like that. And then I'll assemble my card the same way as the other one. And this fence, it was um, stamped in black and then colored in with a tri-blend marker. And then I'll use the same sentiment, sending sunshine your way. And now I'll just glue everything together. I love the way these cards turned out. This stamp set, it is awesome. It's great for both scrapbook pages and cards. The images are just the right size. So this is a, a brand new stamp set and it's available. It's in the new catalog for July and August. And I expect it will sell out pretty quickly. So if you like it and you really, really like it, you should probably get on it and purchase it as soon as possible. So now I'm stamping the little tufts of grass in fern. I'm gonna scatter those around. You will get a new catalog with your order, with your first order. And the Earl to my online store is in the upper right corner. And then I'm scattering some of these uh, gold gems around on my card front as well. So here are some close-up shots. I appreciate you spending some time, a lot of time. This was a long video <laughs> with me today and watching my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And thanks for watching.